coming up in today's video, you've got this. What's going on? And this. <laughs> I found another one. And this. Oh my God, I found a third. And if you stick around right till the end, I'll show you the finished article. Enjoy. Peace. Been down on the beach two minutes. Already found something. Check this out. See that right there? Whitby Jet. <sighs> there we go. Not worth taking, really. As you can see, when you scrape it along it, I mean, it just crumbles apart, but right there is the black streak. You want ginger streak. I mean, it's just tearing apart. And it's really, really sticky, that. If you don't know, Whitby Jet is a semi-precious gemstone. Queen Victoria made it famous with mourning the death of her husband, I think it was. But yeah, it could be polished up into all sorts of jewellery. It looks incredible. I'd suggest checking out the uh, Whitby Museum because there's some amazing stuff in there, along with some of the Whitby, sh Whitby uh, jet shops that are in Whitby. Pretty cool. Good to be back in Whitby. So, hope you've all enjoyed the little fossil holiday that I went on. Now it's back to the good stuff. Unfortunately, there's something going off with my camera. I'm not quite sure what's going off there. So, until I get that sorted, it's back to phone quality and sound quality won't be that great, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? So yeah, we're back in Whitby. We're looking for middle layer salmonites today. Some rarer stuff. Let's go get some good stuff. Let's go. And right here is worth, worth a tap, so we'll get the hammer out and hit that. Let's get a good old whack. No, just mineralization. Full of calcite and septarian veins. Oh well. This is really lucky. I've only just got down on the beach. I'm waiting for the tide to go out back there. And I've just found a really nice multi ammonite block that you don't usually get right here. So I just noticed this big nodule here. Looked interesting, the right colour, so I thought I'll uh, have a look at it. Though it's hard to see, you can see a worn out ammonite here, one just wearing out here, a big one here. So that should be interesting, that's going in the bag right away. Nothing really else much showing, so I might just get a tap, just see if there's anything else on the other side. Well, that was a shame. What looked really promising, it's just really, really worn down. It was almost down to the bottom of them, so on to the next one. Check this out. Bloody hell, that's a bit. Big massive shell there. Might split this down and see if it's worth taking back. I'm not usually one for bivalves, but check that out. Wow. Shell detail's fantastic. It's all there. All the grooves there. That's amazing. I'm taking that. That's brilliant. I am hoping some good stuff is here today. It was really hot yesterday, it was about 22, 23 degrees and then followed last night by rain which means that all these spots here that was dried out from the heat should start to fall from the rain going into all the cracks that way it's dried out so hopefully there's some rock falls, they have been for a few already but there's nothing in them so we'll just have to keep looking That is what you like to see No sand, just pebbles Get it! Should be some stuff here Let's go have a look through it all that's a shame. That would have been a really nice ammo. Just a little bit of the keel left. But that and that look really promising. So let's split them down. Right, I split this one first. These you can get the Amalthius in, so let's hope we can get lucky. Anything, anything good? Or is it just gonna be shells? I think this is just going to be shells. I'll hit it a few more times and let's see if it is out in. If not, oh well. No, nothing. Right, let's try this one. semi salatum nodule, this. Bad split, but it might not be. Oh, would you look at that? Just a Bellamonite Fragma cone. Bummer. Oh well. It's on to the next one, I guess. I just went to move away. Oh, I just noticed that sticking out right there. I think that's a Protogramoceros. Could be more in here. I'll give this a tap and see if I can get that out. Right, I've trimmed it down. I'm not going any further. I'll be able to get a smaller one out of that, so stick that in my bag. Let's go look for some more. It's not what you want to see where you're out collecting. Fortunately, a dead seal. Look at that plastic all around it. I mean, I don't know whether it's died from plastic. There's a big gash in its neck, so I'm guessing it's some wire or something that's being wrapped around its neck. Not nice to see. I'll uh, report where that is when I get back to the uh, the car, to the right authorities. 
put a bit of a downer on it now. <sighs> Clean your plastic up, please. I'll pick that up in a minute. Let's get it done. Just found this nice porosorus. You can see the keel of it just poking out here. So I'll try and split this block down a little bit further because it's a bit of a chunk at the minute. Get that out, take that home, clean it up. Hey, good thing about here is these nodules are quite distinctive. Oh, there's loads of shelly patterns on. Oh, look at that. Another pleurocerus. Really sharp ribs, them. That's going to go in the bag. Leave that as it is. That's lovely. Brilliant. That'll be a nice size, that. Just been splitting a block down. Check this lovely beauty. Whoosh. Lovely Pleurocerus Huscarensi. Some nice pyrite in there. You can just about make out the sutures there, but that's a lovely one, that. That's really nice. There is more in the block, but they're too small. Big cliff fall there, look. Look, dust. Woo Hopefully some more comes down from there, be nice. Looks like somebody's already tried to take this out, but they couldn't get it, so let's get it out. Let's see if there's anything in there, hopefully. And there you go, look, there was a few. Bit of a busted one there, you can see the car site where it's just gone. But there is one right there. Are there any others? I don't think that there's any others. I'll get that out. Lovely. Picked up a few other bits, so I'll show you them, then we'll carry on. I'm gonna sit down and have my lunch now, and then we'll uh, crack on. First of all, a little uh, pyrotized cannonball. You give that a whack in a minute, might have an elegantisterous in, might not. You don't know until you hit them. And my guess is, this is empty. What a surprise. Spotted this really pyrotized uh, elegantisterous block. It's a bit warm though. But boom. Get that wash in there. Get that little one there, little one there. Then last but not least, Another lovely Pleurocerus. If you're enjoying the video, give it a uh, like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate it if you did. Right, I don't want to get my hopes up, but that right there looks suspiciously like a really, really big vertebrae. And I mean big. I've not looked at it yet. Oh, I'm excited. Right, I think that is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a big plesiosaur vertebrae, holy crap. Oh my God, wow. I'm gonna have to have a search around here now because there's still a chance that there's another one or more. Oh my God, see that right there? But the neural arches would attach or from here, I'm not sure, but wow. I was not expecting to find bone today. That's a plus and a half, wow. <laughs> What's going on? Today's a good day now. <laughs> I've found another one. <laughs> Look at that right there. There's the second one. Oh my days, it's all a nice ammonite there and all next to it. Of course I pick up the ammo first. But look, it's a freaking other one. Oh my God. I hope they're connected. I'm gonna to have to check that in a second, but oh my God. <sighs> What's going on? What is going on? You know that cliff fall that I showed you earlier? That's where I am. These, I think these have just come down in since then. <sighs> they fit together. That's too freaking arc It's too articulated, please, your subvertebrates. That's rare. That doesn't happen very often. <sighs> I'm having another search around here before I leave. There's gotta be more. Oh my days. Yep, slots perfectly onto their look. Wow, what were the chances of that happening today? I sure as hell didn't think that'd happen. My mind's blown. Right, I'm gonna go look for some more. Just as I said that, I've seen, I've seen a third. I'm trying not to swear, PG-13 and all that, but oh my God, I found a third. <laughs> Look right there. What's going on? Two seconds, I'm gonna put these in my bag. No, in fact, I'm not. I'm just gonna walk over to them. Scott it. <laughs> Tell me that, all right, I'm gonna put them together and see if that fits and I'll show you in a second. Okay, okay, I'm losing my cool now. That's three plesiosaur vertebrae articulated. <sighs> I'm struggling to breathe here. This is, uh, this is too much to take in. There's gotta be more around, there has to be. But three, 
What the hell? <sighs> What's going on? And now for something a bit more boring while I'm still looking for them verts. A really, really oddly crushed Hildoceros. I mean, look at that. Don't know if that's pathological or what, but I'm taking that because that's pretty cool. Nice few calcite chambers. There was a double there though, look, that's a bummer. That had have been there, that had have been amazing. Well, I've searched high and low everywhere. I can't find any more. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to come back here every week until I keep finding some more and it's completely exhausted. And an APB to all my mates that come here, if you do find them, I'll swap you whatever for them. I don't care. I'll swap you a ton of material, please. You know, I shouldn't be bummed out, but I kind of am, because I really want more of them. But that's a life, I guess. That's a life. Let's crack on, let's go home. I'm done now. <laughs> Liam, you should have come out today, mate, with me. Told you. Why didn't my camera work? That would have been great getting all that on good quality flipping camera instead of my bloody phone. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back to the car now. Got a little bit of room left in my bag, so I might pick up a few other bits, but other than that, I am done. What a flipping day this is. What a day. <sighs> Look at it. What a place. Just picked up this really big pyrite nodule. Saw a tiny little worn out ammonite there. Flipped it over. There's a big uh, impression of a harposerus there. So I'll give this a little tap. See if there's anything in it. I'm doubtful there is light, but you never know with these. Moment of truth. My guess is no. No, nothing. Right, that's me done. What a great day. Come on! Don't even care if anybody's around, I'm shouting my head off. So as you can see by my reactions in that, wasn't expecting it. That's an absolute incredible find. That's once in a lifetime. They don't come around very often. And of course, I've prepped them. So without further ado, I'll show you them now. The grand unveiling. And here they are in all their glory. Whoosh. I have been back since, no more's washed out yet, so uh, I have to keep going back and hope that more come out. Persistence is key in these things, you know, you never know when they're going to wash out. I have a feeling that they're going into the cliff, which means that I've just got to wait for storms or cliff falls, etc. to fall. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that one. I think that's my best video I've done so far. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, do what you want. I'm having a good day. Laters!